Hi and welcome. Today I will discuss how I produced over 150 slips from a combination of six Japanese and purple sweet potatoes. It doesn't matter if you have a large vegetable garden or just a pot. You can grow sweet potatoes. You can cultivate your sweet potato slips from store-bought organically ground. I placed the whole sweet potatoes in pots of soil with at least half of the sweet potato into the soil. I planted them vertically due to space constraints. However, planting lengthwise will produce more slips. I kept the soil moist and waited for it to make roots slips. The potato had plants in about two weeks. Once a new plant is at least three inches, it can be pinched off the sweet potato and rooted in pots. I've been removing slips every week and uh, I plant them in three inches, a three inch or four inch pots. The slips shown here are from one of the sweet potato this is a um, Japanese sweet potato eventually I split the potatoes into individual pieces and allow them to develop in separate small containers as in this case um, I also add some cinnamon powder to ensure that um, the cut pieces cure properly uh, cinnamon powder is antifungal and uh, in this for this particular one I was able to get three divisions of um, this sweet uh, purple sweet potato. I allow the roots to develop in two to three weeks before planting them directly in the ground. Additionally after removing several sprouts uh, the whole sweet potato was planted directly in a grow bag or raised bed. In terms of the growing conditions Sweet potatoes grow in warm weather. The optimal planting time is when the soil temperature is over 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Here in Georgia, in zone 8, June is the best time to plant them. So with this method, it's best to sprout the sweet potatoes in May for June planting. I had a late start. Most of the plants were transplanted in late July last year, 2020, but I harvested many sweet potato seeds from these slips. I will plant the newly formed sweet potatoes by June, so I will have an earlier start this year, 2021. Be sure to keep the beds weed free until the vines have covered the soil entirely. Maintaining a weed-free area, especially in the first month after planting, will improve yield quantity and quality at harvest. Use soil rich in compost. Um, the soil should be loose and uh, well aerated, so that will allow the potatoes to develop healthy and that will avoid them doing a lot of work to push against the soil. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to the Petersville Farm channel. Thank you.